Okay, folks, so on to part two of angle constructions. For this part, we will be bisecting an angle. For part one, you copied an angle. Let's talk about what bisect means. Do we need to? Maybe. Bisect means to take this angle and split it into two congruent angles, okay? By way of this object here, which is known as a ray. So we have to bisect this angle. Let's get to it. The first thing we're, the first step, and we're going to work off of this angle, okay? So by the time we're finished, this angle or this should look like this, okay? So let's talk. This should look like that, all righty? So um, we're going to start with the first step, which is to put the focus point on A, then create an arc of any size that intersects both rays of the angle, and then label those points B and C. All right, so I'm going to make an arc, label it point B and C, and so that first step is done, and these look similar, okay? Not going to change the distance, not going to change the length between the pencil point and the focus point. This being the focus point, that being the pencil point. Do not open up your compass. Do not close your compass. Keep those, the distance between them the same. All right, so the next step is to place your focus point on B and create an arc in the interior or in the inside, the space in between these two rays, in the interior of the angle. So focus point on B, and I'm going to create an arc. So another arc. Let's do that again. All right, well, I don't like the way that looks. Let's do that again. All right, bam, there we go. That looks a little better. All right, so now we have this image, which looks like that. So first step, make an arc, second step, make an arc, and then keep the distance between your focus and pencil points the same. And then put your uh, focus point on point B and make another arc. Using that same measurement, the same one that we've been using this whole time, we are going to place our focus point on C and make another arc. And then we're going to label that intersection D. Okay, so we're going to put this focus point on C. Okay, let's do that and make an arc where these two arcs intersect, right? So it should look like this. Where they intersect, we're going to label point D. All right? Once we finish doing that, the last step is to connect using your straight edge. All right? I actually think this is easier than copying an angle. Nope, that's... Oops, we want to raise that up a little bit more. Bam. Okay, and so we've essentially bisected this angle. And so this and this look pretty much exactly alike. Okay, and that's how I know that I've done my construction correctly. This requires practice. Please watch the supplemental videos, or you can watch this video over again if it has helped you. Um, but practice makes perfect, and you'll work through that constructions packet that is attached to this. Okay? What you're going to do right after you finish this initial construction is to practice it again right here. This down here is your try it out. Try it out. Okay? If you have any questions, feel free to ask Ms. Clark. Good luck, and um, make sure that you finish the uh, constructions packet by the end of the period.